What is going on everybody, Yvonne here. Now everybody knows that following up with customers is crucial, but a lot of times it takes energy and effort. So in this video, we're gonna go step by step on how to automate your guys' customer follow-ups and go high level. We'll go through on setting up automated SMS, emails, and even reminders. So whether you guys are marketing, sales, or running your business of any sort, these things can save you guys a lot of time. So let's go ahead and dive in so we can show you what it's all about. Now, once you guys open the sub account option in your guys' go high level instance, make sure to go to the automation tab right over here. Once you click that, you're gonna be directed to this page right over here and you'll be able to create a workflow, which is gonna be the powerhouse of what's gonna make this happen. Once we create a workflow, we can either create one from scratch, import it from a campaign, or there's gonna be some templates that we can go ahead and use. To show you what's under the hood, let's go and actually build one from scratch so you guys can see what it's all about. So let's go ahead and select that. Cool, and we're off to the races. Now, the way that I would think about this is that a workflow works in if-then statements. So if something happens, then X, Y, and Z is gonna follow. So for example, what we want in a customer follow-up is if there's a form submitted or someone interacts with our website, then from there on, we send them something in return to make sure that we keep nurturing the prospect. And usually for most businesses, whenever you want to follow up with your guys' customer, usually it's because someone submitted a form, made an appointment, or gave you guys a call, or even a tag added on their account. So if something like that happens, that is going to be the very first part of our workflow here. So all we need to do is just add a new trigger. And let's say someone clicks a form, type in form, and boom, form submitted is going to be an option here. Again, there are thousands of ways of which this can go, but let's keep it nice and simple and just utilize the form as our initial trigger. So let's do form submitted. And from here, we can also have a not just form being submitted, but also add further filters on top of that. And that's where if then logic kind of comes into play because from there on, we can create separate branches for which form is being submitted, etc. To keep things simple, let's just go ahead and keep the basic version. But if you guys do have your own process, you can go ahead and easily make that through filter right over here. So let's save this trigger and boom, we're gonna be ready to rumble. And again, if you guys have another trigger, like somebody booked an appointment or something like that, all you gotta do is just add it right over here, customer booked appointment, and bam, you guys are ready to go. So what's gonna be the second step from here? Once someone has actually booked that appointment or filled out that form, usually we need to follow up with them. And that can come through an SMS or an email or some sort of notification for us to actually reach out to the customer. So right over here in the second part, that is gonna be our next step. So for example, when someone submits a form or a customer booked an appointment, all we gotta do is just press the little plus button, type in SMS, and boom. Now whoever does those two things right over here, that's when an SMS is gonna be sent out. We can either do it through a template or we can go ahead and just make one right over here by saying hi we can actually go ahead and make a custom variable right over here as well by just saying hi contact full name hope all is well we will be giving you a call shortly perfect now let's go ahead and save that action now every single person that's filled out a form and booked an appointment they're going to get an sms but again, from here, if you guys would like, remember on the forums of the customer booking appointments, they're not going to be all created equal. So if you guys do want, you can go ahead and create that if then logic. So if somebody expressed X, Y, and Z in that forum, you can have a different set of scenarios rather than someone booked an appointment and did it something different. You know what I mean? Because they're probably going to be interacting with it a little bit differently. From there on, I would just go ahead and make the workflow have different branches, or you can make it a whole new workflow for it. But again, in the second step, you can go ahead and have an SMS being sent out. It can be an email. It can be a reminder to send out a call, different stuff like that. And if you guys want these things not to happen right away, what I would personally do is just add a delay. So go ahead on the actions, press wait. And let's say we're going to wait, I don't know, 60 minutes or however long you guys want it, hours or days, press save action. So let's say after they're able to get that SMS, we're going to wait for those 60 minutes. And from there on, we're going to send an email. Boom, send an email, action name, right subject, contact welcome, hi there. Boom, save that action. So now once a form or a customer booked an appointment, they're going to get an SMS, then it's going to wait an hour, and then it's going to send an email. And if you guys want that branch logic to occur, all you got to do is just press if, and there's going to be an if else action right over here. And again, we can go ahead and modify this to a larger extent by just go ahead and inputting contact name. And like, let's say full name is not Yvonne, which is my name and save action. So now there's going to be for different conditions. So there's going to be for folks when if full name is not Yvonne and when none of the conditions are met. So when full name is going to be Yvonne. And in those instances, they're going to get completely different results or we can actually make them similar depending on what we're looking for. So for example, if for all those folks, if full name is not Yvonne, we can go ahead and send out an SMS. And for those folks where none of the conditions are met, right? Then from there on, we can go ahead and send an email. So pretty much all the Yvonne's of the world are going to get an email and everybody else is going to get an SMS. 
Perfect, and once you guys are ready to go, you can go ahead and publish a specific workflow. And if you guys wanna see specific stats on it, you can go ahead and go in the stats view and you can see specifically on what percentage of emails were delivered, open, click, replied, bounced, right? And we can kind of see that for each part of your guys' workflow here. Now, the reason why this is cool, you can see exactly on what is working and what is not. And that way, as the customer is going through the whole journey here, you can see exactly what we should double down on and what we should fix. And yeah, so once you guys are ready, I'd make sure to actually name this something, customer follow-ups, go ahead and publish it, press save, and boom, you guys are ready to rock. And if we go back to workflows right over here, and we go to reporting, and if you guys want to see further on how your guys' workflows are interacting with your guys' clients, you can also see that in the reporting tab. Again, this is demo data here, so don't take it all too seriously. But once you guys have your account up and rolling, you can go ahead and modify it so it represents exactly what you guys care about and what you guys want to see. And again, folks, if you guys are not getting the exact result that you want, make sure to go back to the workflow here and actually go ahead and go through that test. You should do that before you guys even start to publish it. And the reason why for that is that you don't want your people to be booking appointments or filling out the form and you guys not following up with them. So make sure to actually test that workflow that it works. And from there on, you guys are off to the races. And there you folks have it. That's how you guys automate follow-ups with Go High Level. As you guys saw, these workflows can make your life a lot more efficient by just automating many different parts of you guys' business to make sure that nothing slips to the cracks. If you guys want to try out High Level's platform for yourself, there is going to be a link below down in the description. Remember that on this channel, we make videos about different platforms and tools to help you guys start and grow your guys' website. So if you guys found this video helpful or got some value out of it, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Till next time, peace.